Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of the EK Hatch Build. And today, we are going to be finally doing the trunk. We're gonna finally be laying the trunk board down and we're gonna be laying down the felt that goes over the trunk board. So, what I've done is, found the company on eBay that sold the trunk board, bought it real cheap, and I found a company that sells the material that you use for the trunk. I bought that really cheap on eBay. <clears throat> oh yeah, heads up. No, let me turn the camera. So, so heads up, this is not going to be a EK Hatch eBay build. This is not going to be that. But some stuff like carpet, interior pieces, things that are really hard to find, I'm going ahead and bought off of eBay. But for the most part, I kind of want, I've been thinking about it, I kind of want this build to be kind of a build where I like, um, look for stuff like for like certain rare items on the car like i don't know like spoon lips spoon side skirts stuff like that <clears throat> you know mugen pieces that are hard to find certain like hoods that are hard to find things like that i want this car to be fun i want this to be a really fun project for 2020. i still don't even know if i'm gonna end up keeping the car but i know i will either most likely be selling the ek hatch or the honda fix i just don't need three cars total that makes no sense for me where i'm at in my life right now but pretty much I'm gonna build up this car, see where I go from there. Basically that's the in game goal for this car. But like I was saying, this is not gonna be like an eBay build or anything like that, but eBay is a good place to find parts that you're looking for, so I utilize eBay when I can and when I have to. So yeah, like I was saying, these parts I got off of eBay relatively cheap, and what I'm going to do is um, use the old back seat liner and trunk liner to mock up what I'm going to cut out for the new trunk liner and old back seat. So using that, I'm going to just be using a, if I can get this to focus, 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 a chalk marker, and I'm gonna be using some Velcro to attach the uh, trunk liner to the, uh, to, how do I say this? I'm going to be using the Velcro to attach the back seats to the trunk liner. I'll show you. I'll show you when we get to that point. But for now, right now what I'm gonna do is uh, take the old liner, put it on the ground, line it up to that, and then I'm going to use adhesive liner to attach that fabric to the trunk board. Simple, simple, simple. Hopefully I've never attempted anything like this before, so we will see how it goes. This whole car has just been a learning experience, and I'm really excited to get under the hood of this D16 Y7 1998 DX model Honda Civic. And there you go, daily shot of the Type R that you guys like, hopefully. And also in here are goodies for the Type R. So stay tuned for that. I'll try to set up the camera to a point to where I can show you guys exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And we will see if it's a success or not. So yeah. Oh yeah, and to give you guys a time frame about when I'm doing this compared to when the videos are being uploaded, um, what's today? I think January 20th, and I just came back from PAX South this weekend in San Antonio, and it was really fun. But yeah, I just want to give you guys kind of like a time frame mentally of like when I'm doing this and um, when you guys are seeing this. I don't even know when this video is going to be uploaded. It might be uploaded this month in February. Well, this month, well, it's January, but this might be uploaded this month in January. It might be uploaded in February. Who knows? Who knows? It just depends on how the spacing of the videos go. So, uh, yeah. All right, I kind of forgot what kind of, I kind of forgot what kind of board this is called, what kind of uh, material, but it's definitely a lot harder than cardboard. And yeah, this is thick. This is a thick boy. I really hope that adhesive spray helps that stick to this, but I guess we're just gonna have to find out. If it doesn't, we'll figure out something else. Let me go see if this fits in the trunk real quick. All right, get this to focus. It's focusing there. All right, so it actually fits. Fits perfect, actually, which is awesome. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this part yet. Like, I don't know if I'm just gonna like have extra carpet to cover that around here but this is exactly how I was thinking it was gonna fit. So this is perfect, perfect. Dang, you cannot see me at all. I gotta get close in here. Yeah, I gotta get close in here. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some chalk and I'm just gonna outline the old 
trunk liner to this new fabric. And yeah, we're good to go. Bo's here. Let's go check out the bike. Let's go check out the bike. Here we go. He got a new addition, the Kiba. We gotta get some cinematics going on this one day. Okay, okay, okay. Get the, get the pose. Remus. That Remus. Oh yeah, yeah. Remus squad. Remus squad over here. If it ain't Remus, it ain't nothing. Pikachu powered. Nice. All right, we're back. Um, so I've cut out the carpet, did the whole chalk thing. So now I lined it up on kind of how it's gonna look. This is gonna go under it, obviously, but I just want to put those under it to see if I had the right measurements. It looks like I do, but this is the back side of it you're looking at. Actually, I'm gonna flip the, I'm gonna flip it. You'll know what I mean. You'll know what I mean when I see it. This, the white chalk side will be on the inside. While I'm letting this dry, what I'm doing right now is I'm going ahead and punching in a lot of the holes that are going to be needed for the caps, for the clips, I mean, I'm sorry, all around the seats. And then I'm going to have to split down here so I can make sure these, uh, I'm going to split down here, my bad, sorry, so I can make sure that these line up well when they're going up and down and all that jazz. I think this is really, I think it's already dry. It's pretty fast drying adhesive, so we'll see. I just use regular headliner adhesive if I didn't say that already. But yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along. After this, I'll wash down the seats and then um, throw the car back together. And we can go from there and we'll see how everything looks. So yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning into the video so far. Hope this is a really good um, DIY video. If you guys have the idea of doing this yourself, it's not that hard. It's not that expensive. And it just costs a little bit of your time throughout your day. Just knocking this out on a Monday. Uh, Martin Luther King Day, so yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Martin Luther King Day, but yeah. So uh, stay tuned for the finished product. All right, so I finished the trunk liner finally, put everything back in, and this is the final look. And now I have trunk liner DIY trunk liner. So now. I do have a little bit of flares here and there. I'm gonna show you guys one second. As soon as I get the strap situated, there we go. So I do have some flares right here. I'm probably just gonna like take some scissors and trim them up like you can see right here. Some, or I'm gonna figure out something I can do to attack it together. Cause let me show you when I lift it up really quick. Show you what it looks like. Yeah, one second. But yeah, it works out pretty well. All right, it's all the way back. So this is what it looks like when it's all the way back. 
as you can see, when you're looking from the top down, you can kind of see in here. So I gotta figure out something I can do to keep that tucked. I don't know, I might just like clothesline it or something. I'm not sure, but I'm I'm happy with it. 100% happy with it. This is better than what it looked like previously. And I've got, I've got liner, so, so far so good. Now all I'm gonna do is um, clean the back seats, put the back seats on. I mean, we'll clean those front seats, put the front seats in here finally. Um, clean off that hatch cover. Okay, that's nasty and I'll be good to go with the interior pretty much this is going to be the end of the interior portion and other thing left really is like little small things like little tidbits like probably replacing some panels if I want to getting out all the dust and grime out of like the crevices and all that jazz giving a good detail again everything like that I think I'm just gonna get a new steering wheel I think I said that already but yeah but this car has been coming a long, long, long way, man. And I couldn't be more proud of the outcome, all the hard work that I've been putting into it. So yeah, she is coming along. Still haven't given her a name yet, but we'll think of one soon. Uh, what do you guys think I should name her? Leave some comments down below. I was thinking Hina because Hinata, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But she's coming. I'm really happy with it so far, dude. I'm so happy with it. It's just gonna get better and better. God willing, it'll just get better and better. Yep, so I think I'm gonna close the video right here, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And watch the process of this EK be transformed into a wonderful, beautiful car once again, hopefully. So like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. And I will catch you guys on the flip side.